Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the accordion duct tape pouch. Very simple. Um, and if you guys came here from my pocket locker video, this is the right video you're watching basically. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, about a pocket locker video, you can add these awesome coin pouches into any creation. And if you check out my pocket locker video, I show you how to add one into there. I have an accordion woman's wallet. So yeah, and you can come up with different things. So for this video, I'm just using some Ziploc from a Ziploc baggie like this. This one has gummies in it. Um, and I cut it down to my size I need. I'm using five and a half inches. So I cut it down to size and then I separated the pieces. So I have two separate pieces. Very simple. Okay. So let's get to the tutorial. So first off, I like, first I like to cover the tops. So since my Ziploc pieces are five and a half, I'm going to cut one piece of duct tape that is five and a half inches long. All I'm going to do is flip my Ziploc, oops, I'm going to flip my Ziploc so that the smaller side is facing me. I cut this down to a fourth of an inch, by the way. So as you can see, the smaller side is facing me, the longer side of clear is facing upwards. And I'm lining this directly on top of the purple. So it's going to look like this. Just line it directly on top. And now what I'm going to do is fold this down. And it, it helps if you set your duct tape piece design or color side face down and then just kind of fold this up into it. Just like I'm doing here. And you can really fold it any way you want. And then push down the longer sticky side onto it. So you should have something that looks like this. And now your duct tape piece is attached. So now we need to get it the length that we need. So I'm going to put this Ziploc side face down on a line. And I'm going to make it the height that I want. So if you're following along with the pocket locker tutorial, um, these are the measurements you'll use if you're using the same size planner and stuff of mine. So the height of it is determined by how big your piece of cardboard is. My piece of cardboard is four and a half. So I'm going to take away a half an inch. So my height is going to be four. So remember, just take away half an inch of however tall your wallet is. I mean your pocket locker. So I'm going to create a pocket locker. I mean a Ziploc coin pouch that is four inches tall. And I'm lining up the duct tape. So that's why there's so much like excess. And for this one, I'm trying to keep it uh, five and a half. Okay, so now I need to bring it to four here to line it up. Okay, so now I have this all lined up, but if you're lining up your tape, you may notice yours might go down further than what you want it to. So all you have to do is just take your ruler and trim it to the dimensions that you need it. So I'm cutting mine to be five and a half inches wide and then four inches long. So one, two, three, four. I always have to count to make sure. Okay, peel this off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Got tape on me. Alright, so now all you have to do is cover up this sticky side. So, all you have to do, oh, and I'm actually going to use, I almost forgot, I'm going to use white for the inside. And the inside, you don't really have to worry about lining up the trim because the way it opens, it's going to be harder to see. So, again, uh, you're probably going to need two pieces here. 
of my I'm using five and a half. So if you're using five and a half, you're gonna need two pieces of five and a half. Okay, so you have one and two. Perfect. So all you're doing is just covering the sticky from here to here. Very simple. And now I like to check and make sure. Perfect. So you want to set this to the edge of your cardboard. And you basically know that it has a row. So I'll show you like this. Here's my cardboard piece. I set this like this. There's space, top, bottom, and side. So there we go. Perfect. So there is one piece. Now, I'm going to make the next piece the exact same way you made this one. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make this one in speed up, fast motion, whatever it's called. And if you need to repeat this, you can always pause the video, re-watch this as many times as you want. Um, yeah, so go ahead and do that. I'm going to create this one now. Okay guys, so now we're going to work on the si the accordion pocket. So I have a new technique of the accordion pocket and you kind of make a pocket in the shape like this. This is what the inside the outside looks like. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So I'm going to use my outside color here. And I'm going to measure. I'm going to line it up with the bottom and then cut the tape um, line it up with right underneath your Ziploc so you want your your piece here to be the length from here to here as you can see like I did with this piece. Now I'm just going to get my white piece of duct tape. With this is my inside color and try and cut it the same size. If, if it's not the same you can just trim it down. I'm just going to put these on top of each other kind of just like you're making a card pocket. And I was a little bit off here, so I'm just going to trim it really quickly just so that they line up. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now what you're going to do, you're going to take the outside color and you're going to fold it in on itself, exactly like what I'm doing here. If you have the same color, just fold it anyway. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, um, you have to line this up with the first one that you make. So all I'm doing here is I'm cutting a little triangle. And I'll hold this up and show you what I mean. So this, this is what I'm cutting out, a tiny triangle. And this is what it should look like once you cut it. So the idea of this is that you want to have um, some space here. Make sure to have about a fourth of an inch here so that you just so that you can attach the duct tape to. So when you open it up it should kind of look like pants. And you want to start your triangle about halfway. So your first one, you make that just freehand. And then your second one, how I placed it on top just like this, that's the way you want to make it. Um, now since I'm going to have some duct tape on top of this one, I am going to trim it down a little bit so that the duct tape doesn't add any extra volume to it. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a color, a piece of my inside color here, and I'm going to measure this. So from the start of the cut to the bottom of where I cut, I'm just going to measure a piece. I'm going to cut that piece down to something that looks like this, and all you're going to do 
is fold, keep it folded and place your piece of duct tape on. This doesn't really have to be even. Um, this isn't going to be seen. This is only used so stuff doesn't fall out of the hole. You really don't even need this piece on. But this is just in case because if you have coins, you know, you don't want your cash to fall out. That would stink. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, and you can also trim the top before you cut. It will make it easier, but it's not, it's not too hard as it is. So I'm just going to cut the length of the top of my thing. Cut a piece out half an inch wide. I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see because it is small. So something like this. And then all I do is just pop it on the top of this here. Just kind of making sure it's even. Alrighty, that looks good. And then you just fold it down. So there you go. Now you have a nice trim on it. Okay, so now we're going to do the attaching. First I have to put my trim on the other one too because I didn't do that one yet. And then once we have it all together I can show you um, how it looks and tell you a little bit why I decided to do this technique. There we go. Looks good. Okie dokie. Okay. So first what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut a piece of white tape. That's the length from, from the bottom of the ziplock to the bot bottom of my pouch. It's a little slanted, but it'll do. Just going to cover this. I'll explain how to do this. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll explain it in more detail once I get to my other side. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Now, let's get to attaching this. So, you're going to take your outside color, and again, just line it up from the bottom of your oops from the bottom of your coin pouch to the bottom of the pouch this should be super easy so there we go boom cut it in half boom we're going to place this one on this outside piece there we go fold it in half when you apply it So what I'm doing here, so white is a little difficult to see, but so there's, I'm lining up the edge of my accordion pocket with the edge of my pouch. As you guys can see there, just lining it up and then flipping over that edge. There we go. Um, I have to move this down because it does cover um, my Ziploc a little bit. So make sure you check and, you know, obviously you don't want Ziploc to be covered or else there's no point in making a Ziploc coin pouch, to be honest. Okay. Now my Ziploc isn't covered. And if you have any excess like I do, just trim off the bottom. There we go, because sometimes the trim will add a little bit extra height, so you may have to trim. Okay, so now, just pop on your last piece. Okay, so the reason why I showed you the last one was so I could show you how to attach the last one. Now, if you're just attaching these two, it's very simple. It's the exact same thing you just did. But for this last one here, oops, I almost forgot. Before you do it, we have to cover this. This is so simple. Again, it's the exact same thing. Measure from here to here. Just pop a piece of tape down. 
cut the distance. Oops, forgot to pull it off. And then just cut this piece in half. Okay. All I'm going to do here, I'm just basically resting it, as you can see. Resting it on. And then kind of pushing it down like this letting it fall because it is a curve so it's not going to be perfect folding it over here there we go that looks good I'm just going to trim anything that I need to from here okay and now what we're going to do here fold everything together just like this Make sure the bottoms are all nice and lined up. And then you're just going to fold your piece over. And you can take this piece if you want and just, just stick it in really. That's all I do. I create a circle like this. And then this is a little bit difficult, but I hope you guys can see. So this is the sticky line one. And all I'm doing, again, just laying it on, popping it down. There we go. Simple. I'm going to come up here, too. This is where scissors actually come in handy because I have a tiny piece I need to trim off the top here. Okay. So now, just take a ruler, if you want. You can just freehand it. And just trim any excess stuff you see on the bottom here. And so that's it. We're almost done. Those were the sides. That was the hardest part. If you've gotten through that, you're a master. Just gonna clean up a little. Perfect. All right. Just looking, making our sure thing even. And now all we're gonna do, get a piece of duct tape. This is gonna be five and a half inches long. Put it on halfway. I think this is even. I hope it's even. And then before I fold it over, I'm going to seal my, my coin pouch. There we go. And you'll feel already how much thinner this accordion coin pouch is just because you've made those slits. And then now it opens like this. So it's going to open the exact same way. Except this time you're going to have so much more space. Like just taking out those little things adds a larger room area. You can put more in. The duct tape isn't taking up so much room. It's not as bulky. And you still get a very large area. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, that's basically it. If you want to see how to attach this inside of something, go check out my pocket locker video. Um, it will be up soon if you're watching this right as I posted. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.